Peter Delapenny here with Scotland Under-19 head coach Craig Wright after the team's eight-wicket win over USA Under-19 here at the 2011 ICC Under-19 World Cup qualifier. Congratulations, first off, on the win. What um, did you know about the team heading into this match? Because it looked like you had a very good game plan, and uh, after that initial burst, they, they consolidated, but after that fourth wicket fell, you just rolled them right over. What was the game plan heading into today? Um, well, the, the game plan was first and foremost to win the toss and bat first, uh, which we didn't do, obviously. Um, but we uh, but we knew that, um, that the lad Taylor opening the batting was a key player for, for, uh, for the US team. Uh, we knew he would come hard and play a few shots, um, but we we our plan was just to, to, just to stick to trying to hit a good length, um, and hopefully you know he would e either hit one up in the air or, or perhaps nick off. Um, and he, he looked like he, he got a good ball uh, from Balewell to get bowled. Um, and then, you know, we, we base our game plan around our medium pacers bowling in the middle of the innings and our spin bowlers. Um, and we managed to take a few wickets. Uh, so, um, you know, those guys coming on and bowling some dot balls through the middle part of the innings made it, made it difficult for the, for the US. And maybe a couple of the, the, the American batters just gave the wickets away, which helped us. And then the pressure just kept building. So we, we wanted to just keep, keep them under pressure. What... Um how much of a factor do you think your experience was in these kind of conditions? Because it looked like, especially your opening bowlers, put the ball on a proper length consistently to, to keep USA batsmen um, in trouble until they, they got out. And then, again, the spinners, they were always bowling full. Even though they might not have been turning the ball that much, they were encouraging the drive, bowling on a full length. What, how much of a factor do you think you, your experience in these conditions helped out? Well, I mean, to be, to be perfectly honest, I, I wouldn't say that the, the, the way the ball behaved with the new ball is particularly typical of, of our conditions. We don't play in a lot of wickets that, that bounce as much as that. Um, so, you know, we've, we've actually played on one or two wickets that bounced quite well over the course of the tournament. And we're speaking to the bowlers about bowling a, you know, a slightly fuller length. We've, we've tended to be a little bit short on these sort of wickets, but we bowled a little bit of a fuller length today and we, we managed to get the edges. Um, and then, you know, the, the, there was a little bit of spin for the spinners as well and, and the pace off the ball uh, in the middle part of the innings is a, is a key part of, of our game plan in terms of just trying to bowl dot balls and trying to build some pressure on the, on the opposition. Um, and the, the US batsmen didn't really have an answer in terms of the, the, the sort of straight lines that our bowlers bowled um, and didn't really seem to, to have any, um, any idea about how they were going to score against that, um, which worked to our advantage, obviously, because they, they tried to play big shots and, 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 and uh, we took the wickets. You guys are 4-1 now. You guys are in a strong position uh, now. You only have to probably win one or two more games to lock up a top six spot, but obviously you're not going to be satisfied with that. What are your expectations? For the team over the rest of the tournament, and how high do you think you guys guys can finish? Well, before we came into the tournament, we set our, our you know our, our key line goal was to was to win the competition, um, and obviously from this position, being four wins out of five, we want to continue on towards that goal. But we're really trying to just take one game at a time, um, you know, move on to, to the next game in a couple of days' time again against Afghanistan and try and play as well as we have done today. And then hopefully if we get a win from there, we'll move on again. So we're not really thinking too far ahead. We're just really taking each game as an individual game and trying to do as well as we can in each individual game. And then whatever, whatever results from that will uh, will be. All right, Scotland Under-19 head coach Craig Wright, congratulations again. Thank you for your time. Cheers.